Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy B back with you once again for another edition of the Hollywood Squares right here at MBG Productions. Glad you could join me here once again. All right, um, last time we played, we started off a, our third week on the show here with our center square, Jeffrey Tambor. And he is a pretty funny guy. I love him as an actor. And now we're on to our second contestant during Jeffrey Tambor week. So let's meet our opponent for today. Sean's never left the 70s. He lives in his very own disco den in his parents' basement and needs money because he's broke and his disco ball is striking a pose. Oh, he broke his disco ball striking a pose. Fair enough. I mean, we've all done it a time or two. Well, let's see if we can block the disco era from coming back again. Although, quite frankly, according to some of the fa fashion I've seen recently, it's in full swing of coming back. Bell bottoms, pros, and all. Will we stop the 70s from coming back, or shall we fall and do the time warp again? Let's find out today as I play the Hollywood Squares. Let's go! Welcome to Hollywood Square. The, the rules are simple. You'll pick a square. I'll ask the star in the square a question. We'll get right into the first round. Pick a square, X. All right, let us get started today with, um, we'll start with our, our, our ah, celebrity center square, Jeffrey Tambor. I swear Jeffrey I could talk Tambor. today. Jeff! <laughs> In the book of Genesis, what kept Adam and Eve from returning to the Garden of Eden? Well, they forgot to get their hands stamped on the way out. <laughs> well, duh. <laughs> He's not wrong. Uh, I, I would imagine, but well, original sin. I mean, they, they ate the apple they were told not to. Give us your verdict. Um, I totally agree. Too bad. I was a cherub that did. Board is oh, yours, never mind. Circle. Matthew. Well. Wrong choice. Well, the board is okay. Yours, that, that could have ended up far worse than what it did. So, all right. Um, let's go to Kathleen, please. Kathleen. Gregory House of the TV show House is a member of what profession? Do you think that's a bluff? Agree or disagree? Yeah, he's a doctor. I'll agree. He's a doctor. You're Got it. You're right. Your turn, Circle. Where will Richard for the block? Oh, sorry, you're wrong. The board is yours, X. All right. Um. Well, we've got to go Richard for the win. Richard for the win. Garfield was a cat. What was his friend, Odie? Are they bluffing? That or was his dog. I agree. Odie's a dog. X gets the square, wins the round, and a thousand dollars. Let's hope you can win a second round and get into the bonus round. X power! Here we go. Ah. Round two. <laughs> I kid. The board is yours, X. All right, secret square game and play now on this one. Of course, if I find the secret square, get the question right, I get myself a thousand dollar bonus prize. All right, and uh, let's start with my buddy Kevin. Kevin, what is the name of the old gray donkey in Winnie the Pooh? What's Although that's not the Kevin I know. Um, Eeyore, I will agree. Eeyore. Good job. There we go. X is square. Your turn, circle. Where will Nancy? You lose. Nancy. Where do you want to play, X? Well, you know what? I could go for the win, but again, I'm secret square hunting, so I'll go Jeffrey Tambor in the Jeffrey place. Tambor. Not the secret Jeffrey, square. what is the fastest two-footed creature in the world? I'm going to have to buy a vowel. <laughs> uh, two -footed Wrong creature, show. The fastest two-footed creature <laughs> in the world. Man. Agree. Or disagree? Uh, disagree, because I'm pretty sure the Roadrunner is actually faster than us. Good job. Oh, it's an ostrich. Your turn, there you go. Circle. X on the board. Where will Michelle for the block? Good choice. All right. Um, Which one do you want, X? Let's go Matthew in case I royally mess up. Matthew for the win. Matthew for the win. That's two. And he's a single square. If you guess correctly, you'll win a bonus $1,000. All right, in for the win. In land at the Magic Kingdom in Florida will you find the Pirates of the Caribbean? Do you know the answer? Uh, yes, they would be in Adventureland, 
I agree. In Adventureland, X gets the score, Got it. wins the round, and a thousand dollars. Thousand dollar bonus. bonus. Round and the game, and now you're going to the bonus round. Wow, this has been quick. This has been a quick game. Just in and out, wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. All right, so time for the bonus round. Ninety seconds of the clock, please. Here we go. Is what sort of animal? Do you agree? Um, I agree. Well done. You can find Disney World in which city? Will you agree? Or Disagree. Do you Not right? New York. What is known as the city that never sleeps? That is New York. Answer? That's the right choice. If you want a wish to come true, fold an origami of this animal. Actually, fold a thousand of them. What animal is it? How do you feel about a trout? No. You got it. It's not a trout. In the Harry Potter series, who owns the wand shop? What do you think? There's black. I disagree. Nice work. What song was so popular that when the master recording was damaged, Bing Crosby had to re-record it in 1947? Make your choice. Um, White Christmas, I agree. Got it. What show ended with an episode called The Truth, in which Fox Mulder returns to the show and defends himself during a secret trial by proving an alien conspiracy? What's your choice? X-Files, I agree. You're right. <laughs> What vegetable is the base ingredient for gazpacho soup? Will you agree or disagree? Gazpacho is... I mean, I agree. That's the right choice. Which subspecies of tiger is the largest? How do you want to weigh in Siberian, on Siberian, I agree. Good choice. Look Let's at that, a perfect eight. 9 for 9. Let's go. A perfect run. Nice play. And, and, and there's my key. key. Pick it up. Let's go over to the chest and unlock it. For $25,000. Yes, you've got the correct key. Well done. Congratulations. See you next time. There we go. Hollywood's Perfect Club. game again. $23,000. $1,000 for each game won. $1,000 for the Ziggy Square. $20,000 for the bonus round. $23,000 today. And now a series total. Of a lot of money. $275,500. Very nice. All right. So we kept the 70s from coming back, but we unfortunately were stuck with the glasses. That's okay. Could be far worse. But yay. That's Hollywood Squares. That was a short one, folks. That was short, quick to the point. And we got three more contestants to get through Jeffrey Tambor week. But that we'll have to wait for next time. So I'm going to cut this short because i got to bounce. I've got somewhere I've got to be today. So appreciate you guys stopping by for another round of the Hollywood Squares. So join us back here in a few weeks. We're going to do it all over again. More celebrities, more funny, more trivia, and hopefully another $23,000 win by yours truly. Hopefully. Because I know at some point this game is going to start getting harder and it's going to kick my butt. When will it be? I'll have to tune in next time to find out. Because I'm out of time for today. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed yet, click that subscribe button down below and ring the bell. That way you never miss out on all the fun and games. Excuse me. All the fun and games going down here at MVP Productions. And until the game of X's and O's is wages once again, I'm your host, Fred, and say thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for more of the Hollywood Spares. See you, everybody.